Hey you guys, Uncle Jesse here. Creality is rolling out some new and improved CR10s and I have one here on hand thanks to GearBest. Let's check it out and find out what's new with the new and improved CR10. Alright you guys, so I'm very excited about this. I love my CR10, love my CR10 S4, and I'm excited to show you guys some of the updates that Creality has made here on the CR10. And technically this isn't just a CR10, this is the CR10 Enlarged, or the CR10S, or the CR10S4. This is basically the model that is 300 by 300 by 300, or about 16 inches by 16 by 16. Huge build volume on this thing. Well, just some of the updates that they've made on this machine as well as the stock CR10 that you can now buy that basically they've learned from folks out in the community modding the CR10s and updating it and built some of those directly into the new machines moving forward, which is very, very cool to see. So some of those that you can find, I'm gonna cover here right now. So from the initial look, everything looks the same. This looks like a CR10 S4. And when I was opening it and unboxing it and putting it together, I mean, everything more or less looked like a CR10 S4. One thing that I immediately noticed here is that the glass bed that I received on this is a good bit thicker than the normal glass bed that I'm used to working with that's come with my CR10 and my CR10 S4. So this is, I don't know, nice to me. It was, it's level, it's as far as I can tell, perfectly level. I've had no real issues printing on it so far. As you can see, I've got a big print here that I'll be showing you guys in just a little bit as soon as it's finished. And then over here on the control unit, one of the really nice things that I think a lot of people have complained about, let me see if I can get it to focus here, is the SD card slot. So people were constantly getting their SD cards slipping and falling into the side crack here. Well, it looks like they've <laughs> figured out a way to actually fill that so it's less likely that you're gonna throw your micro SD card down into one of the side cracks of the control unit here. The other really nice thing about the control unit is they've now updated this for power loss failure. So if you are printing and for whatever reason you lose power, you're gonna be able to resume printing where you left off as soon as you regain power, which is incredibly useful, especially for someone like me. I've got a few printers up and running in the same space, which, uh, you know, inevitably, I'm sure I'm gonna blow a fuse here printing stuff. So let me move around to the back. The one thing that I was extremely excited about with this printer update is they now have a filament sensor guide here. So what this does is it basically, there's a wire that connects to the control unit and it's feeding its signals here. You load your PLA through this and it goes directly into the machine like it normally would. If I run out or if this spool breaks for whatever reason and it runs through the sensor and there's no more running through it, it's going to stop the printer and ask me to resume my print. And this actually just happened the other night. So here I'm going to cut over to that so you guys can see quickly how all of that worked for me and it works, you know, relatively seamlessly. I was able to get that back up and running very, very quickly. The other thing I wanted to point out on the back of the machine, on the left hand side of the machine, it now has the dual Z upgrade already built in and wired and ready to go for you to start working and printing with. This is actually a kit that I've additionally purchased for my CR10 S4, which is sitting across the way on the rack over there from Tiny Machine. So it was great to see that this is now coming as an option with the new and improved CR10s. So this is, I think, pretty cool. It's just gonna help again with the print quality as you're printing with this huge, large space. 
for a printer. And the wiring for it was actually pretty straightforward and easy. You've got a cable here that's labeled as Z. You're gonna, the long cable, you're gonna plug that in, run the cable underneath the print bed. You're gonna have another cable here, excuse me, that is gonna plug into the other motor here and one on the front side. Then the X wires plug in here and back here. There's a wire for the extruder and then there's a wire for the filament sensor. And oh yeah, there is a wire here back in the back for the, what is this? Is this the, the Y for two of those in the back of the machine? So pretty straightforward and standard. I mean, this is just the only real addition is this additional cable. If you buy one of the mod kits, you're gonna have to open up the box and then do a lot of this work yourself, which it's not entirely too difficult to do supposedly. I haven't done it myself just yet. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's something that's nice to see that they're building in and directly getting feedback from the community and building that into their machines. So the other interesting thing that was on the control unit was that there is an auto bed leveling function, but there's no auto bed leveler here, easy enable or whatever you may want to call it here on the machine. So it looks like maybe they just got that pre-programmed in to support it so that you can plug it in without a firmware update. It's a, a little unclear to me. It clearly isn't gonna work without one of these sensors, but it's nice to see maybe that's an, again, another mod that might be coming from them or another version of this might be coming from them soon. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. So for any of you guys out there that are already CR10 or CR10 S4 or S5 owners and you're interested in some of these mods that I'm talking about here, you can actually pick up a lot of those through Tiny Machines or TH3D. And I've got links to those guys down below where you can check out their sites and their mods. So everything from the Dual Z, or if you're interested in auto bed leveling, there's options there for you guys for your CR10s. I mean, I absolutely love this machine. I love printing with it and I'm happy to see that they are improving on it. All right, so here is my first official really big print on the CR10S or the CR10S4 or the CR10 Enlarge, basically the new newest CR10 that's available with all these nice mods. This printed pretty dang perfectly. This is a file from Wes over at Big Little Designs that you can find over on Instagram. We've got links down below. He has designed this low poly figure and what he did for me is super awesome. He has included my little Uncle Jesse logo on the chest here for me to go ahead and print. So what I'm gonna do is just show you guys quickly how you can assemble the figure. It's basically everything is printed so that you can just almost snap everything together. So here's the head is gonna fit onto this here. Uh, the arms here printed with these little attachment pieces, these little cubes that you shove into the arms and then you can just find the corresponding arm and shove it in place. And there is one arm and here is the other. Should mention that you can actually download the file minus the Uncle Jesse logo on uh, Colts 3D. And again, I've got links for that down below as well, where you can print your own version of this, which is very cool. So here are the arms, they're all snapped together. All I have to do now is just find my super glue and super glue the arms in place. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick off camera and then come back to you guys. All right, and here's the finished print all assembled and I've even painted on in silver metallic paint, the little Uncle Jesse logo on the chest plate piece here. And again, this was created by Wes over at uh, Big Little Design. And you can, again, check out the links down below as well for the files where you can print one of these yourself. And this is about 15 inches tall, printed at 100% scale. I also printed this at, I think it was 50% scale or 25% scale, I can't remember exactly. This is about six inches tall version of it in white PLA. This is the same PLA that came with the printer. This is one that I had on hand. Actually, I think this was the black PLA that I picked up from uh, the Anycubic i3 Mega, actually. But since this is a CR10, I figured, you know what? 12 inches 
isn't gonna cut it. I need to go a little bit bigger than that. So I went off and printed a 17 inch version of this Uncle Jesse figure and it is friggin' awesome. I am absolutely loving this. The detail on this actually didn't come out quite as nice as the 12 inch version. And I think it was more so, nothing with the printer. It had all to do with the different PLA that I was using. There was much more stringing. I'm seeing a little bit more layer line action on this as well versus the other one that I printed at 12 inch. So I think it's just a matter of me dialing in the settings for this specific PLA more than anything. But still, this came out pretty freaking sweet. And by the way, again, it's only 17 inches because you can print it in separate pieces here. And uh, also, he's got this split up in multiple sections. So if you even have a small printer, you'd be able to print it as well. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with the CR10, the new CR10 performance, its print quality. I see no degradation in terms of this newer version versus the older version. Uh, I haven't really seen that it's that much better. So that's still for me to, to see as I continue to print with this. But I did want to share this with you guys as I've now got my hands on this. I will also be getting my hands on the CR10 Mini, which is the smaller CR10. Very excited about that, as well as just the overall standard CR10 once that comes in. So I will be more than likely providing some sort of videos around those in the upcoming weeks. But if you're interested in checking this out, I've got links down below where you can pick one up for yourself. Uh, and as usual, make sure to head on over to the CR10 Facebook group if you're looking for support or questions about the CR10. It's my go-to spot. And I mentioned previously, if you're interested in picking up any of the mods, if you're an already existing CR10 owner, you can head on over to Tiny Machines website as well as TH3D. And I've got links for those guys down below as well. So again, thanks again for watching, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.